the Oilers have pulled off a pair of moves. Um, first off, they have traded Jesse Bully Harvey to the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, really? I hate them. And they get um, a young prospect who needs to be signed this offseason in Patrick Huistula. Huistola. Yeah. It, the finished. saga is finally over. Uh, listen, I hate how good – I hate that – that if there was one team that I believe can get the potential out of Jesse uh, Bully Harvey or two, two, uh, Tampa and uh, Carolina – God damn it. Why? Yeah, Why? It, it, he's definitely going to. I don't know. I'd imagine he excel. He excels in Carolina, just considering how other players have. Um, he won't have Mark Spector I, writing hit pieces every day on him. That's true. Um, I do hope that's not Carolina's only move, though. Yeah, no, Sim. I'm, I'm with you. Um, that would be a little disappointing. Maybe James Van Reemstijk? Yeah, I if, just, if Detroit I feel like made they him available, I would really like them to see Apper choosing. I heard he uh, so oh, yeah. not I That's not I heard not I heard I read that apparently he is now more likely available than not. Like I think Friedman or Sarah Valley, one of the guys said the asking price was like a at least a first round pick plus. I. I hate Detroit because they just lost both games to Ottawa. They're not no. out of it, but they, that's pretty tough because they let Ottawa back in there. Anyway, yeah. the other Edmonton trade that we should talk yes, about here. Yes, yes, Um, They bring in Matthias Ekholm at 4% retained because <laughs> screw you. Um, out of boy Barry Trotz, who is apparently working on these trades with David Boyle. So, I mean, Barry, you're off to a good start here, buddy. Just the transition, you know. yeah. Anyway, um, the uh, Nashville receive a first this year, a fourth next year, Reed Schaefer and Tyson Berry to make it work. But um, listen, first off, uh, Matias Ekholm is exactly the type of player that um, if I said that Jake McCabe is sort of, if I say he is sort of a, a light version of Muzzin, you know, now I, I want to say here, McCabe is closer to Muzzin than Joel Edmondson is to Matias Ekholm. I want to make that very clear. Um, but I wanted them to go get Edmondson so the Habs could get some prospects out of this. But instead, Ken Holland did a very smart move, which he doesn't always do, and go gets Matias Echo. Now, in a few years, McEcho may be a little questionable, but for at least, like, this is exactly what they needed. Maybe a little rich on what they gave up. However, I don't know. term... Exactly what they needed. Yeah, I like. I just don't like. I thought I was surprised that they also added Schaefer was the big thing. Yeah, because for him, remember at the draft they traded. Yes, yes, a crazy amount to get that pick because they had to get rid of Zach Cassian's contract. So I think it's also worth like a second and a third in later drafts. But it's just any anyway. It's it's we can different discussion on the term, but it's just I but. Anyway, like Echo is exactly what they need. Exactly. The first Western team to make a big swing. Yeah. Barbara Chef doesn't count in Vegas, but like no. good for them. I was ready to come on the show today and rip Ken Holland for oh, saying God, yeah. that for, for yeah. saying um that Evander Kane was gonna be their deadline acquisition. I'm like, that's just it, it felt like such a cop out answer. Yep. Um and again, I said like I don't ca- <laughs> I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna compliment Ken Holland here, like that. And we didn't know. Obviously, there was no. We didn't know this specific player was available until literally like a week and a half ago. Um, so, like you said, this is exactly the guy they need—a guy who can play defense and can move the puck. Like this is this fits everything that this team really, really desperately needs. And I think it it's a huge impact. Like, I think if you look at the other defensemen they were linked to outside of Chikorin, like that, but that just never was going to happen. You look at Edmondson and Gavrikov, this is such an upgrade on their defensive core. Like, it's an impact player. You know how for the Leafs, I was saying they need to go out and get an impact player. Enough of this uh, bottom six, bottom pairing guys, go out and get an impact player. And that's what they did. They fi- Finally, they bought. 
with mm-hmm. uh, with Connor McDavid in his prime, they finally bought. I'm a, I'll admit, by the way, I was wrong about Nashville, and I I didn't think they'd be able to move Ekholm in season. Uh, five okay. first round picks in the next three years. Wow. Five seconds, uh, and five thirds. Uh, a lot of fourths and fifths too. So um, credit to David Poyle and and Barry Trotz. But anything to say, Dan, before we move on to uh to another move Nashville made and the news going on there. Uh, yeah, I'd like to just applaud Ken Holland for getting a guy that is going to really complement this core, be a foundational piece on the blue line because. I think it was Darren Dreger who did the report that they were talks which about Chickering uh, into the morning yesterday, but then Ken Holland cut bait and then just went for Ekholm instead. And I think you get more of that stable guy right now. He's been playing, you know, he wasn't taken out for so long for trade related reasons or whatever. And yeah. Yeah. I think like the price for it, like the perspective wise, it is rich, but I think that if you have, that core of McDavid of Dry you like what you said, Alex, you have to finally buy because there's be eventually like you can't just keep relying on guys playing above their salary, guys who are gonna be misplaced in a certain role. We've seen that so many times with the top six, with the defensemen they got, you know, no offense, Brett Kulak, but this is something that they had to do. How dare you? How dare you? No offense, Brett Kulak, how dare you? 